Then what would happen? And the reason why I wanted, well, we got to this, which I appreciate that, is you get the operating agreement of the LLC. This right here tells you how the company is going to run, what we're going to do, how ownership is dealt with. And based on that, the CPA on a, on a LLC, if you guys are aware of this, I'm sure most of you are, you get a K-1. So you get the distribution on the PREF, but you also get the K-1. So it's all tracked this way. We need the investor to sign this. Actually, this is the operating agreement. All right, so they sign this. And then we need them to fill out this accredited investor questionnaire. It's for tax purposes, not because Rick wants people to fill out 15 pages of questions. I mean, it gets pretty in-depth and detailed, but most of the guys who do this already understand it. And we explain it to them, look, this is because the government wants to protect you. That's really why. The SEC requires that you fill out this application to protect you and us. Also, this tells me if who's investing with us is an LLC, an S-Corp, or an individual. You guys with me? Once you fill this out in the operating agreement, the process is you keep this so that you can start the individual will keep this, take it to their CPA attorney, whatever they want to do with it. They give us this once they pull the trigger. And it also has wiring instructions on where to send the what? The money, right? We take these to our attorneys and our CPAs that, uh, that they're the ones who really do that work so that we're, again, we're not involved. It's a third party. That third party takes care of business. So what they do is they verify that you've signed everything correctly. If there's something you missed on the application, they're going to call you and say, hey, we're missing three pieces here. This is why that Adam will answer your questions. Once we confirm that this portion is complete and we confirm that the money is in escrow, and what I mean by escrow is at this point is in the PPM is no longer in the title company's hands. It's in an escrow account that our CPA third party from our LLCs that do this are holding the money for you know for the purpose of protecting us on behalf of the LLC. Then as we start moving forward and we confirm this within 14 to 15 days of the funding, they release the check for 10% to the LLC account. From there, the LLC then pays out the expenses.